the storm of gaming be with you. Ignition. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Storm Striker SX9 here with part 9 of my Fallout 3 Let's Play 4 Storm Singularity, part of. Summertime Splash, and our, my RPG game series. In the last part, we just got through going through the the tunnel rubbles of the presidential subway. And we are now at the Adams Air Force Base. So, this one's going to be a fun episode full of action taking on the Enclave once again. So let's go, shall we? This, in, this episode might be a little bit longer than the rest because I want to do this one in one full video. The Adams Air Force Base is one of the main hubs of the Enclave in the Capital Wasteland. So I will say this. The Adams Air Force Base actually is a real place thing and a real place in the DC area. It's pretty cool that they have it in Fallout 3 as it's one of the big places in Washington DC as, as well as the DC ruins that we went into like the you know the monument and stuff. Anyways let's go in here and have some fun. As you saw with the, the loading menu is a little bit different. That's because I tweaked it a, a little bit again. The main menu and the loading screens have been upscaled to 4K to look a little bit better. So, yeah. We are now at the Adams Air Force Base. And we have Paladin Cross with me. Star Paladin Cross with me once again. And as for Amada, she's back at Megaton in my player home. Just chilling for now while we do this Adams Air Force Base thing. Alright. All right, we got the Tesla cannon from that little crate there. Looks like there's already been some action here before I even arrived. We have a thing to play that we picked up. Let's hear this. This is Paladin Tristan. If you're listening to this, then you've made it through the Presidential Metro and Adams Air Force Base is all that stands in your way. Our scouts report that the fire controls for the orbital missile satellite are located in the main tower of the Enclave mobile platform. The only way into the platform is by way of a ramp that lowers from a watch post the Enclave set up in the old air traffic control tower. When you opened the crate, it triggered a beacon. We'll pick up the signal and start the assault to cover your entry. Good luck, and Godspeed. All right. Well, I want to use the Tesla cannon, but I also don't want to use the Tesla cannon because not only, yes, it's a good weapon to use, 
but at the same time it will also hurt everybody around you and it does a lot of damage so let me demonstrate well Using the truck as a demonstration didn't do anything, but let's see this. That did some damage. Also, the Tesla cannon only has one round per shot, so it keeps reloading every time you use it. Oh, what do we got here? You're facing superior uh, weapons. Uh, oh. All clear. Stand down. See how much damage the Tesla cannon can Engaging do? Uh, Where? To a human uh, target. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Enemy down. Okay. I probably could have given uh, Paladin Cross a Tesla Cannon as well, but I only have one. So, that won't happen. So we're going to be using the Tesla cannon for this one. It's a pretty good weapon. The heavy incinerator is a good weapon to use as well. But with that one, you got to be careful. It's like if you're using a, a, a fat boy that shoots mini nukes, it's going to hurt everybody in the area, not just the enemy. It does friendly damage too. Oh boy, we don't want to die. All those turrets. Get out of here. Here's looking at you, turret. Those are laser turrets. One more for the Brotherhood. All right, let's heal. We don't want to die. All right, we're healed. There will be more turrets to take out, like this one over here. Over here. And there's another one up there. And there's a vertebrate coming with a squad of enclave. Over here. I've got your back. Ooh. I've got plenty more. Come on. Oh. I'm hit. Look at you with that incinerator. Think of the Tesla cannon as like a plasma version of a rocket launcher. It, ju it shoots a, a giant ball of plasma energy at the target. Target acquired. Oh. Ah. 
You got in the way. He got in the line of fire. I didn't do it. Don't worry, she'll wake up. Paladin cross? Don't. Yes, do that. Goodbye turret. I think the Tesla can also only shoot Victory. close range. It's not a long range weapon either. It's not a sniper rifle. You're on point. I shall back you up. Yep, he's been fried. Engaging target. Where? Target acquired. Anybody want grilled cheese sandwich? She got in the line of fire again. Stop it. Told you it does friendly damage. Okay. Looks like she needs a new weapon. Why are you not using Did you need something? In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Lead. All right. What do you need? In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. You're low on laser ra armor? Or late, he's low on uh, stuff for the ammo. That's why. What? What does the Tesla cannon use? Okay. There you go. All right, she. Well, and Cross should be good now, but he's still using her hand. Yes. What do you require? I am open to your suggestions. A member of the Brotherhood is. 
Very well. I shall cover your approach. I shall remain vigilant. All right. She was using that hammer for the longest time. Vaporized. At the same time, we've also lost a lot of health. That's a lot of damage. And it's only just begun. Watch out! Targeted! Whoa! Explosion! Sentry bot. Let's see how well this does. Oh yeah, the Tesla cannon will also hurt ro robotic enemies as well. That's a lot of damage behind me. The, the trucks are blowing up. We need to be careful. Target acquired. Right, let's get these trucks out of the way so that uh, they don't blow up and kill me instantly. That would not be good. We'll get them. Okay. We should be good now. They don't need those trucks anyways. Oh, now we're using the shotgun. Oh, there's another, another one over there. There's turrets in the mix as well. Hostile incoming. <gasps> ah. All right, we're getting out the sniper rifle. Okay. 
She's finding targets I don't even see, but I do see that one. I saw that turret in the distance. See that big old giant tank? Yes. That is a tank fortress. Oh my god. I can't see. You, you gotta go back. Oh my god. There's one behind me? Smart, but stop dodging my bullets. Oh, and we're nearly dead again. They're doing a lot of damage to me. Okay. I'm still not healing. What is going on? Here we go. I'm hit. That's insane. Critical strike. Good rid. Over here. We'll get him. Visibility is very low, especially because it's getting dark again. Okay, don't always trust the VAT system. For some reason, it also targets your friends, too. Don't always to trust face. it. False alarm. Stand down. Got some pulse grenades here. Plasma grenades. First aid. Look who came out of the shadows. Goodbye. Yep, we're going in this giant tank. This is a fort. This is a, what do you call a, one of those 
fortress that is built on a giant tank. You've probably seen something like this on games like Halo and Gears of War. So it has something similar to this in it. The giant fortress on tank, you know, tank tracks. These things. Look how big this thing is. I can fit in this. We're going to be going inside this thing. If we can find the entrance. It should be around over here somewhere. Be vigilant. Ah. Okay, that's the other side, because there's a door right there. Oh, we need to go to the control tower. That's why we can't go in there yet. We're not going to be able to go in there until we go to the control tower. Which is over here. So, let's go. Air control tower. Anybody home? Looks like works out today. All right, here's the uh Ooh, nice. Well, we better hurry. Contact vertebrate flight controls. Okay. Contact mobile platform control center. Okay. Open mobile platform loading ramp. There we go. Now we will be able to go inside that giant of a tank. It's basically like if you were to put a castle on tank treads. Shot. Better him than me. Uh. Okay then. Oh, we got some friendlies nearby. They're shooting in that direction. I think the Brotherhood of Steel arrived. They said they would the moment I got the platform open. All right, let's go inside this thing. Oh boy. The mobile base crawler.
This is their armory. By the looks of it. It's packed with missiles. Electron packs. A Gatling laser. Ammo for my sniper rifle. Shotgun ammo. Enclave power armor even. We got some plasma grenades over here. And a, a laser rifle. Yeah, this is an armory. Looks like it's also a pantry at the same time. What's going on over here? We got visitors. That I can't see in the white light. Somebody with an incinerator over there. I'm on your side. Come on. Enclave Sigma leader. Thank you for the uh I'm thinking about picking up these. Incinerators and actually giving one to her. Or give her the Gatling laser. I would rather do Vigilance that. Vigilance is necessary in this location. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. I'm going to give her the Gatling laser. So I will take the tri, tri beam laser rifle. And the flamer fuel. What does it use? EC packs. Plenty of ammo in there. That means that I will not be able to use, actually, I'm gonna let her use the Tesla can. Let's see how well she does with the te with the uh, Tesla cannon. Oh boy! Have fun! Oh, this is gonna get good now. Got another room over here. Oh man, don't hurt me. I just work here. What are you doing down here? I uh, work on the robots. I fix them up. I saw what you did before you got in the base. You're not gonna hurt me, are you? I wasn't planning on it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm Stiggs. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I was wondering if you could answer a few questions. Man, I'm glad you realize I'm not one of the bad guys. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. What type of defenses are upstairs? Well, just above us is a Deathclaw research facility. Most of the Deathclaws are out fighting, but there might be one or two left. There are also a bunch of robots in the facility, and they're all controlled through the mainframe. There are also some military types left, but not nearly as many as there used to be. Robotic expert. 
all of the robots are are run off of a V31 mainframe. Huh. It's nice to finally meet someone who knows what the heck I'm talking about. It's actually a modified version of the V29, but response recall protocol is improved and the data transfer is much more secure. If you got into the mainframe, you could control all of the robots in the facility. How do I get to the satellite tower? Well, the satellite tower is right on top of the base. I'm sure you saw it before you came in. You're going to have to make it to the central control area before you can get on top of the launch platform. Once you're on top of the platform, you're probably going to have to make your way past a bunch of soldiers before you get to the tower. So, where exactly is the mainframe? Well, you'll want to get to the floor above and then make your way to the middle. That's where the mainframe is. You re you're really helpful. Why should I trust you? I've been trying to get out of here for a while. See, I've done things for the Enclave. Things I can't say I'm proud of. But a man's got to eat. When the Enclave picked me up, I was starving and suffering from radiation poisoning. I felt I owed him. But now, now it's time to leave. You'll make a great distraction while I make off with a few robots and supplies. I help you, and you help me. Good luck out there, Stiggs. It was nice meeting you, but I have to get while the getting's good. Maybe I'll see you around. Come on, Sparky. Move. Oh, hey, you're back. Do you need anything else? Bye. Hey. There's Hoover. Mr. Gutsy. I think Sparky. Oh, there's Sparky. Sparky. And some dead sentry bots. Okay. Thanks for your ammo. That's Sparky. Another glorious day in this man's army. Do not interfere with security operations. And this is Another Hoover. Another glorious day in this man's army. I swear that robot sounds like George Takei. Oh my. Alrighty. He's a friendly. Hopefully he gets out alive and joins the Brotherhood of Steel. Helping the people of the Wasteland is of the utmost to the Lion's Doctrine. Actually, I think he goes back to the uh, Ribbit City. High clearance key card. Ooh, thank you for that. We'll definitely need that. <laughs> yeah, you fail. That guy was on fire. Eliminate target. Oh. 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 Hostile incoming. Ah. 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 
Okay, that happened. Now she's using a Gatling laser, oh my god. This just got cool. I need to heal again. Wait. We're in Tesla armor? Oh, okay, we're switching. Now I'm wearing the Hellfire armor. No wonder we're taking a lot of damage. for the come on thank you for opening also it's dark again oh did you drop your pretty weapon That's a lot of damage. Somebody behind me. There's somebody behind me. Oh, I can't see because it's dark. Turn the light on. got dark again. Okay. There's somebody with an incinerator behind me. Those turrets are in blind spots. A sentry bot. Are you? Oh. Okay. Can I rest now? Thank you. It got dark very quickly. Let's just say this: 24 hours on this game goes by in like 24 minutes. So, and the resting takes 24 seconds. So, pretty interesting, right? It only takes 24 seconds to rest, but 24 hours in this game is like 24 minutes. I wasn't done. Come on. There we go. Always good to repair your armor. Okay.
Oh, we got some red dots over here. Take out the turret. There's a lot of Enclave Hellfire troopers in here. That was a sentry box. Officer with a Gatlin laser. <laughs> Star Colin crosses in conscious again. <laughs> Goodbye. Got a missile launcher up close? Are you kidding me? Never shoot a rocket launcher up close. You know what will happen? Not only will your enemy go flying, but so will you. So, yeah, bad idea. To <laughs> Shoot those things close range. Headshot. Ooh, incinerator. You really like those incinerators, don't you? Wow, that's a lot of damage. Some more red dots over here. Probably a turret. I've got Yeah, it was a turret. The red dot was a turret. It's gone now. I see where you got that Gatling laser from the gun case.
me, damn it! We've got company! Where? Where are you at? Show yourself! Headshot galore! That guy's got some whiskey on him. He knew he was going to have some final days. He had to have a bottle of whiskey for that. We're gonna switch weapons. Let's use the uh, Black Hawk. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gutsy. Not so gutsy anymore. Satellite uplink. Oh, we need to go to the satellite relay first before we can fire the payload. Or not. Are you serious right now? Yo, we just did that. We gotta go, guys. We gotta go. We gotta go. Not up, out. We gotta go out. Are you sh Are you kidding me? Yeah, you better retreat. Cross. Surprised to see me? I'll say you look much better. Well, we both have the pride to thank for that. Without them, we'd both be dead. But enough about me. You've done one hell of an outstanding job out here, soldier. A hell of a job. Now it's time to do my job and to get your ass onto this vertebird before it goes up like a nuke. Anything you say, we can talk back at the Citadel. 
Hurry, the orbital strike will be coming down any moment now. Let's go! Hang on, I'm going to set this bird down. We're inside a bird bird. Got Paladin Cross with us. And now we get to watch the fireworks. Don't stand too close to it. Oh my god. Look at that damage. That's a lot of damage. Kablamo! That giant crawler is no more. We did it! We took out a land crawler. Back on the bird, bird again. Now sure we're going we're back to the Citadel. Elder Lyons wants to speak to you when we touch down. Don't worry about the remainder of the Enclave forces. We'll mop up the rest. When I first met you some time ago, I was leery of your motivations, and even more concerned with your methods. At the battle for Project Purity, you proved yourself, and any doubt that I had about you dissipated on that day. Now with the Enclave in ruins, and with you to thank for it, I am almost at a complete loss for words. I feel proud to call you one of our own. And I promise that what you've done here today will be recorded by our scribes as an historic moment. On behalf of the Brotherhood of Steel and on behalf of the free people of this wasteland, I thank you. Well, I suppose we have you to thank for the sudden influx of equipment pouring in from the ruins you left behind at Adams Air Force Base. These items will help keep us one step ahead of our enemies in the wasteland and hopefully start my reconstruction effort. Mark my words, Prime will walk again. It may take months or even years, but we'll get him back together. If you're inclined to help us with that effort, just let me know. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh. How's the reconstruction of Liberty Prime going? We have so much to do putting him back together again. I'm uncertain as to how long it might take. Months? Years? The only bright side in this is an opportunity to try and rebuild Prime from the ground up. Make improvements on his original design. If only we hadn't exhausted so many of our supplies fighting the Enclave. So, have we totally wiped out the Enclave? From the amount of equipment pouring in, I'd say, if we didn't destroy them, <laughs> we certainly threw a major wrench into their works. Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? Not really. No. Could you repair... No. I have to go now. Goodbye. Please come back if you find anything interesting. <laughs> I told those bastards you could do it. Oh, there were doubters inside the Citadel to be certain, but Lyons was behind you all the way, and that was good enough for me. 
I can't think of a better compliment but to simply say the Brotherhood would be almost nothing without you. Thank you. From all of us. Is there anything else I could do to help the Brotherhood? Well, yes, actually. If you're still up for it, I could always use a hand with my next assignment. The super mutants are still a major problem in the Capital Wasteland, and one of our primary missions is to cleanse this place of their stink. All I need you to do is to thin their numbers. You see one, you put a bullet into its head. I'm outfitting your Pip-Boy with the same blood sampling device we usually give our scouts. After you kill a mutant, grab a sample from its corpse, bring it here. I'll see you're properly compensated for your ammo expenditure. Is there anything else I could do to help the Brotherhood? Just keep wiping out those super mutants and you'll be helping plenty. So what happens to the Brotherhood now? Well, the Enclave might not be a threat anymore, but we're not done by a long shot. We've still got muties crawling all over the ruins like rats and they're multiplying every day. It's no picnic keeping their numbers down. But that's our job. So, have we totally wiped out the Enclave? Nah, there'll be stragglers and patrols still wandering the wasteland. They won't know what happened at Adams probably for months. One thing I can tell you is they'll still shoot you on sight. So watch yourself. I have to go now. Alright, we'll see you later. Keep your eyes peeled for muties. When I first saw you long ago in that alley in Chevy Chase, I thought you were just some trashy wastelander. I'm glad I was wrong. My father thinks the world of you, and so do I. If things were different, maybe we could have had time to become friends. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you stick around for a while. We need people like you to help us finish what we started here. Is there anything else I could do to help the Brotherhood? Well. The prize got the downtown area pretty well covered. You may want to talk to Paladin Tristan or Scribe Rothschild. They may have something for you to do. Good luck. So what happens to the Brotherhood now? If you think this means the Pride has nothing to do anymore, you're crazy. We still got the damn Frankensteins crawling all over DC, and Rothschild's got us picking up every blinking gizmo from here to Virginia. <laughs> Quite a bit of work cut out for us, huh? So, have we totally wiped out the Enclave? My father says we need to watch the borders for them to send reinforcements. But I think it'll be a long time before anything happens. We dealt them a hell of a blow, and it's gonna take them a good amount of time to recover. What's next for the Pride? Father's sending us into DC to scour the ruins and try and cleanse it of super mutants. He's calling it our next great obstacle. Sometimes I wish we could just take a rest. But... I have to keep a stiff upper lip and help the machine run smoothly. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have to go now. It's always a pleasure to have you around. Yes. What do you require? Lead the way. Great job today, Star Paladin Cross. We did an awesome job. This was loads of fun. And we still got more to do. Hopefully, you will come with us to Point Lookout and the pit. But time will tell as that comes later on. Or even Operation Anchor. So, we just completed... We just... Oop, voice crack. So we just completed uh, Broken Steel, which is the first DLC expansion to Fallout 3. That would be the completion of it, but there are still stragglers out there to get. Um, the next time I do an episode of Fallout 3, we will be... I think that'll be it for now, but we will come back to it at a later time. As for things like the DLC for Point Lookout and Mothership Zeta, those I will save for 
the Spooktoberfest, which will be in October, so that will come at a later time. As for Operation Anchorage and the Pit, that will also come at a later time as well. So for now, I just wanted to focus on the main story and Broken Steel. That is all done now. Let's go back to Megaton and check on Amada. Hopefully she's still okay. Obviously she will be. Yeah, you need something? So it took us nine parts to do the main story and broken steel. Nine parts. But there's still a lot more to cover. So we're not done yet, but I'm taking a break for now so that I can focus on other videos for Tom for the rest of Summertime Splash. So whatever I do, or whatever I've done, should be on not just Monday, but also Tuesday as well. So, it won't just be Fallout 3. There are other stuff as well to watch for Summertime Splash. I wanted to put Fallout 3 on Monday, as it's the main sort of the main thing for Summertime Splash, whether I will use Tuesday for the uh, the secondary stuff, you know. But I, I got more stuff coming for Summertime Splash, don't worry. But as I said, we had a good time for now, but there will be more to come. And I will be doing Fallout 4 soon as well. We want, well Fallout 4 is going to be a fun ride, a fun journey. I can't wait to get that started. As for Fallout 4, that will probably start very nice to make in August or September. Robo I need time to record that, so it'll be fun. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment I below, I share with your friends, add to favorites, and click that subscribe button. And also, click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. I can't believe we did it, guys. Nine parts. Anyways, see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I can't wait to do another Let's Play like this again.